I'm going to Graceland, Graceland To Memphis, Tennessee, I'm going to Graceland Poor boys and pilgrims with families And we are going to Graceland And my traveling companion is nine years old He's the child Welcome back to the channel, Relocate with Kaya. I am Kaya. I provide online support for families, individuals, and employees looking to move abroad. And on our channel, Rich and I discuss our own personal journey of moving from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania to Johannesburg, South Africa with our beautiful daughter, Nina. And today, we are just going to be reflecting on that it has been a year since we have moved from Philly to Johannesburg and just uh, shared some of our thoughts and uh, whether or not we feel any differently a year later. So I'm gonna let Rich take the lead on this. So it's funny you say any differently. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's been about almost a calendar year to the day uh, <laughs> since we, since we moved. Um, but yeah, you know, of course, I mean, at least from my perspective, I feel differently. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can only know so much about a place until you go there, like until you experience it. So, like, I had some ideas of what it might be like, but I really yeah. didn't know. You know, right. like we visited, but you know, didn't know what it was like to live here. Yeah. Um, I think the major thing that's striking me, just looking back, um, is perspective. Like, I think mm -hmm. I have a totally different perspective on things having lived like outside of the States for a year mm -hmm. that I would have if I stayed there. Yeah. And there's things in what way? Just perspective on everything. Like things are moving so fast. Not not only all the political and the, the world events, mm -hmm. but just like um like why do things have to be this way? So like mm -hmm. as far as work and stuff, like everyone's being dragged back, you know, to the office full time and you know, some companies are even like, oh now you have to move to like our centralized city location. Oh, yeah. You know, like yes. people have been dispersed throughout the country, but they're making them like, okay, you got two months to decide whether you still want to work here or not, or a month. Yeah. You know, and it's ridiculous. But like the whole thing of like, why is it, it doesn't have to be that way. Like, right. There's other ways that people do business perfectly well. The business makes money, the people are happy, and it doesn't have to be that way. And it's one thing to like be in there and kind of, know it yes right but like you did it for to two see years. the reality elsewhere <laughs> yes it's just it's it's eye-opening it doesn't have to be that way you don't have to go bankrupt over medical expenses and you know just yeah. well you, you hear you hear these things when you're in that right world. You right hear, oh they exist like right another place but not until you actually see it right and talk to people that do they yeah. look at you like why on earth would that happen like you know? right why is that that <laughs> yeah, way yeah so yeah, it's just a perspective of you know what life is or what life could be mm -hmm. in different places. And, you know. Yeah, no, I definitely think, and I don't know. Uh, and please feel free to comment. I don't know if dragging people back into the office is just I. If it's not just an American thing, I think we are probably uh, the biggest uh, proponents of bringing people back in. Um, America is. America, are, you yes. Are, you personally are not. No, okay. I am okay. not. No. I absolutely am not right. advocate of that. Yeah, but, that yes, up. now, America. Um, yeah, no, I definitely think, you know, like, I honestly thought that after, you know, being indoors for a couple years and, you know, there were so many um, uh, polls taken uh, and just talking to people that people were more productive working from home than they were mm -hmm. in the office. Um, and like things improved drastically regarding the environment. Like there were so many pros um, mm -hmm. about why it could work. And then, so I thought this was, you know, kind of going to be a long-term thing. 
and uh, it is certainly is not. And that, uh, yeah. And I don't know if America is just guilty of it, uh, but they definitely are moving rapidly towards either bringing you back into the office or, you know, trying to facilitate some type of hybrid. Uh, and you and just talking to people here, it's just like, no, you know, I'm still able to work remote. So yeah, so that yeah. was, uh, yeah, the, yeah. In, the, in the in the spent in the within the last year. Yeah. Sorry, uh, it feels like it's only gotten increasingly more of a thing. Yeah, I mean, and not to derail this entire look back, just about work and things, but like <coughs> the me. whole the rights of folks. Like, there's some unions in some industries. Like, everyone's a teachers union in the states. Like, there's some unions that are that are big, mm -hmm. but generally speaking, there's no union at all. Right. Like, everyone is an at will employee. Yes. Meaning, you could walk in on any given day mm -hmm. and get fired for pretty much any given reason. And there's nothing you can do about it. And we, right, and just talking Where, to people here, yeah, sorry. Here or in Europe, Europe. Other, mm -hmm. like other places, and like here in Europe, they're like, oh, we have a contract. Yeah. Like there's actual protections. Yes. Of, like, you know, like it's not just. I forgot that is here too. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's so one sided there. Like, oh, give two weeks notice or more yeah. than that. It's like everyone's worried about, like, oh, I don't want to have a negative impact on my coworkers, set people up, like, yeah. make a smooth transition. But like any given day, you could walk in and find yeah. yourself in your head in a guillotine. <laughs> <laughs> yes. For no, for nothing that you did. It's just right. They They're downsizing. Yeah. Wanted, you know. Yeah. So it's just that. Just the right. Just learning the that. Of yes. the way right. We didn't even know that was a thing, and we've talked to, mm. like Rick said, people um, in Europe and also here, and they talk about contract employees, and we were like, "Well, what is that?" Yeah. Um, yeah. So that. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Now that definitely is yeah, like something. Yeah, contract that means something. Right. So even as a even for you, not yeah, so much. The even employer. as an at will employee, they may hit you with the um, an NDA or non compete. Like you'll you won't be able to work for a competitor. Right. You, you know, like they'll they'll hit you with that stuff. Right. But you won't have any protections if the company decides just to. Oh yeah. Well yeah, it's all centered around protecting the company yeah. and not the employee. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, that is yeah no. So we definitely learned about that. Um, living here, um, yeah. Did you, did you have anything else? I'm trying to think. Did what did? Because like I feel like the well, there definitely is a difference between living here uh, and visiting for yes. sure. Um, financially, and I'm gonna do you know full disclosure when you are visiting and you kind of you know do the exchange as far and this is you know speaking to Americans specifically. Mm -hmm. um, or from outside of South Africa. When you come here to visit, you know, you're thinking, oh, it's so much cheaper to go out to dinner. And like the cost is almost half. Um, but it then, is. well, then, yes, the, right. yes, right. Um, so you figure, you know, that you'll, you know, well, I can just, you know, go out as often as I want and do what I want and how often I want. And yes, when you're on vacation. Uh, so the reality of you definitely, your behavior changes uh, once you live here as opposed to uh, when you're visiting. So that, I think, because I think, I thought when we got here, it's like, oh, we could literally go out as often. And we definitely did, and we have. Mm -hmm. But it's, looking back a year uh, ago, it's like, oh, God, we did a lot of that. Mm -hmm. um, and it adds up. So I think that is a reality, uh, too, that visiting, in, in your mind, you know that it's different. Mm -hmm. But when you actually live it, um, I think that's definitely something people should consider, you know, if they're moving abroad. It's just like, yes, it is cheaper to visit on vacation. Um, but when you live here, you just have to be mindful of, you know, how you how you spend your money or what you do uh, and how often you do it. So, yes, that's, uh, yep, that's been a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that, that, that sort of behavior is obviously something you always need to kind of keep an eye on as far as, like, household budgets and stuff go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's like so ridiculous in the States. Like coming here, it's like, oh, okay, this is still reasonable. Yes. You know, oh, like, <laughs> yes. No, I mean, yes. But, but it, yeah, it, it adds up. Yeah, um, no, yeah. One thing I found interesting is like the more people we meet and the more people we come across, um, the more places or recommendations or experiences we hear from them. It's like, oh, we went here, this was great, or we did this and that was fun. Yes. And inevitably, even people who have been here a while, yeah. or from here, are like, where is that? Yes. What's that? Like, yeah. How is there so many places to visit, things to see, yes. drives to take, yeah. like, experiences to have, 
And even folks that have been here, you know, five plus, or oh, yeah. who, who live here, are like, I didn't, yeah. or I've heard of it, I've never been there, or right. like that sort of thing. Like, no, that so is. I feel like we've just scratched the surface on like, ah, please. What? Yeah, what we can do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, and that is definitely a bonus about living in this country, just anywhere. <coughs> Excuse me, that's not your home country. Is there so much to explore? You know, um, if you ha have the time, um, but it ain't going nowhere, so you can always make time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like, no, we talk to people because Rich and I actively try to do, you know, have new experiences, um, you know, whether it's just him and I or, um, you know, us as a family. And we definitely uh, have done things. And when we talk to people outside of, um, you know, that, um, you know, whether it's at Nina's school, um, or friends, they're always, they're not familiar with some of these things. And to mm -hmm. us, it's just like, what's well, right there? Mm -hmm. um, so, so yeah, so that's always, that's always funny uh, when you talk to people. Uh, but they're probably are just, you know, living their lives and living for the weekends and not actively going mm -hmm. out here trying to discover Johannesburg like we do. So, mm -hmm. uh, so yes, yeah, so I think it's a combination of, um, just, you know, wanting maybe to chill on the weekends, um, or just not knowing. Cause I definitely feel recently, uh, sorry, out the door. I definitely feel recently that, um, the need to, you know, go out and do and new and different things. It's not as great, but I definitely appreciate it when we do discover something mm -hmm. new. Cause it's like, ah, oh, yeah. It just reminds us like, oh, you know, just experience, having this new experience. It's like, that's why we did this. Um, so yeah, I definitely think that, um, you know, moving here, uh, forces you to, you know, to discover, you know, the country in ways that sometimes people that are from here, uh, do not. Cause I was trying to think, why didn't we do anything in America? And I honestly, personally think that there wasn't a lot to do, particularly in Philly. I mean, there were some stuff in the outskirts. Um, not a lot. I just felt like it wasn't a lot to do. One, because I think uh, the seasons, like you, there's a very short window of time. You can do a lot of stuff outdoors. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that Snow that, boy. yeah, well, <laughs> that ain't have. No, I didn't know. We snowboarded the I one time. We, well, did I, get on, on. I did get on the were board. Were you on the board or were you I was on, on the skis? No, I was definitely on the board, not the skis. Uh, uh, no, I definitely snowboarded. That didn't end well. But, yeah, but I just feel like we didn't, didn't end well. Well, because I don't think I, what, I didn't go anywhere. I think I just stayed in this one area because I couldn't <laughs> stay on the board. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so, yeah, I you remember you throwing in the towel. Yeah, quickly. Early. Yeah, yeah yes, because it's hard and it ain't fun and it's cold. So It, it, it is fun. And you don't notice the cold when you're. Yeah, when you're moving, that is true. Uh, but I wasn't moving because I couldn't stay on the board. So. Uh, but yeah, so I think that, uh, yeah, no, we just, we just do, we've done so much more than we, in one year, than we did, <laughs> we moved back from California in two, 2004, I think. Oh. We, we, yes, we moved back from California in 2004. Between then and when we moved here, we've done more in a year in that, you know, in that span of time. So, uh, another pro. Locally, yeah. Yeah, locally. Uh, yeah, locally, for sure. Um, yeah, so it's another, you know, cool part. Um, and I just look back on it fondly. You know, you know, uh, the things that we've done in the last year and the experiences that we've had has just been really, really incredible. And then, and then to know that there's so much more, mm -hmm. again, barely scratch the surface. Like we just do like local stuff. Mm -hmm. Like we don't drive anywhere, not yet at least. Uh, we haven't been to Durban. Definitely mm -hmm. want to check out that. Uh, and there's so many vineyards in uh, Cape Town that we haven't discovered. So yeah, yeah. I'm just looking forward they say to- They drive you <coughs> Excuse um, me, the garden route, I think it's yeah, called. Yeah, the garden route. Like we heard it's nice. There's yeah. Like, what is it, the um, heading towards Durban? Mm -hmm. What the like, mid ran meander or something you can do out there? <laughs> Or like split up the drive, like go out to the, just stay somewhere and explore there and then keep going. Yeah. So just knowing that, again, we haven't even discovered it and there's so much more to see. Definitely, you know, gives me hope uh, and gets me excited, you know, for what to discover. So that, uh, yeah, even though we felt like we've done a lot in a year, we've done nothing. Um, because there's so much of this beautiful country to see. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, we definitely don't want to lose 
momentum. No. Or, or the right, become complacent. Yeah. They're yeah. Because like, oh, it is easy. I know what that is, or I didn't, you know, I don't want right. to do that. Like, yeah. Like I said, I would have never been caught on a red tour bus in Philly. Like, yeah. You couldn't have poured me on one of those things. Yes. But here yeah. it's like, oh, okay, cool. Like, oh, no. Just, no, if there is one, stuff. I'm on it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I think it's, yeah, like I'm just, gen and I think also, too, I'm genuinely curious about the history of this country, mm -hmm. in particular, because it's so much going on in America, and um, yeah, like just, it just makes me, and there's so many things that I didn't know about America, um, and I definitely don't want to make the same mistake of living somewhere else and not knowing the full history uh, of a country. I mean, I lived in that one for 47 years, and I'm just finding out stuff, and it's just like, my lord. Uh, but I wasn't curious, and I think that's also the difference. It's like, I'm genuinely curious about um, this country. It's like, you know, with all its hardships, how are the people so... Um, their spirit is, is un... They're just innately, like, just kind, generous, uh, caring people in spite of... And to come from America where it's very um, selfish and self-centered and the people are very cynical and, you know, on and on and on. Uh, I'm just curious as to like, oh, so even though you come from this history that, you know, had a huge impact, um, it didn't change fundamentally, it seems, um, who South Africans are. So that is very fascinating to me. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so I'm just genuinely curious. And the longer I live here, the more I actually want to know and the more uh, curious I am um, about the country um, because I definitely have been doing comparisons. Um, so, so yeah, so that has only gotten... Um, I've become more interested in the history um, and the people and the culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, definitely. Like, there's still like, a lot to learn. Like, not only seeing things, but yeah, like we barely scratched the surface on everything that's here. Yeah. Um, you know, <coughs> excuse me. Recommend like people if you have the opportunity, like take a break, try to live somewhere else. Oh, yes. To set yourself up. Mm -hmm. I mean, because even if you even if you were lucky enough to have the experience, like in college, like yeah. Some some people do have the oh, experience go abroad. going abroad. Yeah. It's different, obviously. Like you did right. something when you're 20. It's different right. than when you're an adult. That's true. Um, so yeah, like if you do have the chance to go anywhere, like do it. Yeah. Like if you're gonna switch jobs, like get a month in between or something and, and go somewhere and live. Yes. A bit. Yes, it or, just changes your whole world yeah. worldview. Yeah. Um, and I know you know um, it could appear that we're saying this from a. Uh, point of privilege, but I feel like um, just you don't have to do this big old move. Um, you can do something that's within, you know, reason. Um, because I really do. I mean, where there is a will, there is a way. Uh, and I think people are very uh, intuitive. And you know, if you if the desire is there, tr trust me, um, you can definitely probably figure it out because uh, there's so many opportunities and ways in which you can do it as opposed to you know mm -hmm. year, you know many years ago when people did not uh, particularly Americans didn't mm -hmm. even con I couldn't even I'm one of those Americans couldn't even conceptualize living outside of America uh, but once you you know you do it it changes everything it changes you yeah it's one of those things you don't even think is possible no but like, i think it's not a, the money and finances and stuff like some people are like oh i gotta go to school in state yeah like i can't even go out of state because like just for the folks that don't know that almost doubles the cost of the college oh yeah so if you live in a state they'll give you a discount if you don't like you know so some people are just like oh i gotta go to a college in this state yeah for pure finance <laughs> so, right so the thought of like oh i'm gonna go live or stay somewhere abroad like that's just kind of yeah and it's also yeah. not encouraged I mean, it, mm, like I always thought the people that, well, yeah, well, speaking, it's not, yeah right, like I, right. usually it's people with, you know, means, um, or mm -hmm. people that went to really nice schools, um, or good schools, private schools and stuff like that, that mm -hmm. afforded you, uh, the option to go you abroad. Conversation yeah, conversation. Yeah, right, yeah. exactly, exactly. So, uh, but I just feel like now the world is so connected, um, and, uh, yeah, I feel like there are ways, so I definitely recommended another thing that has been incredible this last year is just the growth of um how far nina's come as far as who she who she is and how she um 
is showing up in the world. Like she, I think a lot of, I'm not going to get into too much detail, but I, she definitely was a COVID baby. Uh, we had her, yeah, she was two, like she, yeah, so she, COVID, I mean, it was locked down and we took it very seriously. So we were indoors for about two years and it was just mm -hmm. us. Um, she wasn't in school. She wasn't in daycare or anything like that. We did have, you know, neighbors in the neighborhood, which was great. You know, so she did have access to other kids, but it definitely, I think, had an impact on her, um, how she engages people because it was just mm -hmm. us for so long. Yeah. So once, you know, we got through that and then we put her in school, she, you know, did really well. Still very shy. And I think she's shy by nature, but I think being here in the school that we chose have had, has had such a positive impact on her confidence and, um, yeah, her confidence. Because I think the, uh, it's really important to the school um, and kind of what they teach the kids is like, you know, you uh, use your voice, you know, um, express how you feel verbally, communicate with your peers and express to them how you feel. And uh, yeah, it's just been really interesting to see because what Rich and I will never wonder what Nina is. We'll never wonder what she's thinking or what she's feeling because she is very comfortable in expressing mm -hmm. that. Uh, and that is something that I am grateful for. Um, and then, you know, she, yeah, so she's just coming out of her shell. And I think it was a very soft landing and she was lucky enough to get teachers that were just so nurturing um, and understood her and didn't, um, yeah, like, cause I, you know, cause we had decided in the States we were gonna not do private school for a myriad of reasons. But this, you know, the school that we chose for is a private school, but it's kind of like, a, it wasn't a stuffy private school. And I was kind of worried about that because when I read the handbook, I was like, oh boy, this, you know, could go either way. And just knowing Nina, it would not have been a good fit for her if they would have been harsh and tough mm -hmm. and very militant and um, very, um, yeah, like there, if there was no flexibility. Mm -hmm. um, and that has been uh, the furthest thing from her experience. So that seeing who she was when we got here compared to who she is now has been uh, just incredible. Absolutely incredible. And I think when people think, you know, how is the, you know, this big move is going to affect your kid, um, we definitely lucked out with you know choosing this school for her because it's worked out so well and i know other people may have had different experiences but there's so many choices and options here that you know if one school doesn't work you know there's there's no shortage of other alternatives um yeah which is really 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 nice so yeah watching nina grow mm -hmm. uh and turn into this little confident um energetic uh, tireless <laughs> <laughs> uh, person and fearless mm -hmm. in so many ways um, is has been really really beautiful to see. I'm not sure what in addition I could add to that. No, I do. I totally agree with what you're saying. Um, you know, I think it, it was a good fit and it was a good match. So I think, <coughs> excuse me, from what we learned and folks we had talked to and you know the research we had done on the school. Mm -hmm. Or schools, mm -hmm. not just this one. Mm -hmm. um, I do think we made like the best choice the best. for her. And, yes, you know, it's like you you can't always know. Like, yeah, one hundred percent. Oh yeah. But mm -hmm. you know, if you do take the time, look around, explore the options. Yes, you know, I think we can kind of narrow stuff down. Yeah. Um, yeah, because we didn't do a lot. Of, like we went to three schools, which isn't a lot because there's so many. Uh, but we yeah. really did luck out mm -hmm. uh, with this. Because if I'm being honest, I literally Googled what were the best schools. And I think I probably put in Johannesburg. I think I put in Johannesburg. And there was like, and then also through the Blantons, they um, had recommended the international school. So we, you know, looked at that school. Um, but the other two I found online. And so, and we did our tours, um, which you have to do. But uh, yeah, like she, Nina immediately felt so comfortable. She started running around the campus, which to us was a sign like, oh, she feels comfortable being here. Um, and that has not changed mm -hmm. <laughs> since, uh, yeah, since, since she first started up until now. So yeah, so that, uh, yeah. So that was fantastic, like just watching that. And I think Rich and I, because uh, we knew also when we moved here that we didn't want to purchase a home because we didn't know, you know, if we were going to like the neighborhood that we lived in, if it was going to be a good fit. 
but I think a year in, like we're still happy with this area. Um, and it is definitely something, you know, God willing that, you know, it could be a permanent uh, location or, you know, permanent area because we like it so much and what it has to offer. Um, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Renting, in my opinion, is always the best. Ah. Until you get a sense of, so either it's not going to be what you expected it to be. Or if you buy somewhere and then you discover some other place. Right, that's what we were worried about. Missing out. Yes, yes. So, yeah. Some people (coughs) move differently or live differently and (coughs) are perfectly comfortable just showing up and buying it. Yeah, you find your dream house, go for it. Yeah. Uh, But yeah, no, that's exactly. But it is different. It takes time to get the the lay of the land and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, Um, no, that's. Yeah. No, I agree. Um, A year later, no regrets on. the uh, the yeah, area that we chose, yeah. yeah, like so much so. Again, you know, hopefully it may be long term, um, but yeah. So that uh, we lucked out with that, and then I, you know, the the more and more you're here, the more um, a year later, like we have met some really really uh, special people that have become uh, to feel like family to us. Um, you know, Nina's met some really nice friends. And there really is a great expat uh, community here, too. Uh, and there's so many people that, um, you know, I'm sure you're, you know, you're able to connect with someone. So it's definitely always nice to have the, um, the comforts of, you know, being able to talk to someone um, that's from, that has a similar experience or know, you know, maybe some of the anxiety or just, you know, frustration. Um, that you may experience, you know, looking at what's happening back in America. So it's always nice to commiserate about that. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, but yeah. No, I'm not sure, not sure what else I can add to that. Because um, we kind of talked about it before. It's like you're, you're in between now. It's like, yeah. You know, Is it from, in between? Well, we live in between. Yeah, because well, well, we're from there. But right. We have a different perspective and experience. So mm-hmm. it's not the same as right. folks that have been there. Gotcha. And we're new here. Right. So we're a little, like a little subsection of each place. Yes. So like yes. folks, you know, that are doing the same thing, you know, to your point, like you have similar perspectives and experiences. So yeah. It's good, good to talk to those folks. Yeah. Them. Yeah. So, uh, so I say all that to say is that, um, you know, if you're thinking about it, um, you know, making the big move. These are definitely some things um, to think about. And then for us, literally, they have been, um, we, you know, it's been a really successful move. Um, obviously, there was, you know, uh, difficult around the holidays and just feeling, you know, a little isolated and lonely um, from your family. But I definitely think the more you develop relationships and friendships with people, you feel less disconnected. Um, so, you know, forming community, whether... It's people from America or just people here. is It's so important. Um, and I feel like I can't emphasize that enough because I think the last month or so, almost two months, like we've been doing, being with, you know, friends, which is also why we haven't been doing a whole lot because, you know, people don't want to be on camera, which I understand. Um, so, but, but it's just, it's felt so nice um, and very familiar, you know, hanging out with, you know, people as much as I love hanging out with bitch. Uh, and it's definitely nice to, you know, hear other people's perspectives and, you know, get to know other people. So that is definitely a big, 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 big part of, you know, how you assimilate and uh, yeah, it's been an amazing year. I cannot believe it's been a year because it's flown by. Um, and yeah, I think the only thing I miss is the newness. I do. I sure do. You say newness? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I miss that. <laughs> I miss not knowing what this was going to be like. Well, there's I, still a lot of that. Yeah, yes. Well, right. And I think that's why I always want to find something new and different because I like the experience of new and different things. So you don't miss like cheesesteaks and hoagies or anything like that? No. No? Not at all. Rich China, he said, well, you know, uh, do you miss anything back at home? And I said, Abs- not one thing. Not, And I'm sorry, Philly. I'm sorry. I just don't. I do not. Uh, but Rich misses the cheesesteaks and the hoagies. Yeah, and the friends and the family. This is the Jersey girl talking to us. So she's got a little, <laughs> little shade for Philly anyway. I don't claim Jersey, y'all. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, 
So yes, we just wanted to reflect on our one year anniversary of living in this beautiful country. Our sentiment has not changed regarding the people. Um, if anything, it was affirmation. Um, they are the real deal. Um, the food, still incredible. Still, I was about to say, there's actually a new meat shop that's uh, close by that we're gonna check out. But anyhow, food still is amazing. Uh, what did I say? The food, the people, and the country. Yes, and we've only seen a sliver of it. Uh, and it's just so unbelievably beautiful. So if anything, our love uh, for the people in the country um, and the food has just grown in a year. So I hope this was uh, informative for you know um, people that are interested in moving to this beautiful country. Um, and this is also hopefully a, um, a little love note to the South Africans because you guys have been amazing and kind and wonderful and I look forward to becoming even more a part of this beautiful community if you don't have us. You got anything else to add? Uh, to not talk that. <laughs> I'm telling you y'all, I've carried this whole episode yeah. or show or video. <laughs> so, is it a podcast? Uh, it's, <laughs> I'm not even going to get into that. Oh, okay, it cool. is not a podcast. Uh, but of course, Thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you for the comments, the likes, and even subscribing. I really does, um, yeah, it means a lot because people's time is precious. So if you even spend five minutes watching this video, I appreciate those five minutes. So uh, we'll see you guys soon. Bye.